Hello everyone and welcome to CADIC MC Tutorials. This is the 12th video in the series of Creo Beginners Tutorial and in this video we are going to create a 3D model that you can see on the screen right now. So let's begin it. So let us first close it. We'll go for file and select here new. Now here we'll select part and uncheck here use default template and click on ok. Now from here we'll select solid part millimeter kg second and ok now here you can find typical dimensions of this 3d model so first we'll create here this straight portion to create this straight portion we have to first create two concentric circles this inner circle is having diameter of 80 mm and the outer circle is of diameter 100 mm so let us go to the creo parametric we'll go for the sketch and select here this right plane sketch and sketch view now we'll select here circle and we'll create two concentric circles like this now the smaller circle is having die of 80 mm and the bigger one is having die of 100 mm now after creating two concentric circles we'll exit the sketch and we'll go for the extrude now from here we can see that we have to extrude it for 300 mm so here we'll enter 300 as a depth and from this drop down we'll select here the mid plane and ok after creating this hollow pipe we have to create the flanges that you can see over here to create the flanges first we have to create two concentric circles at the end of the pipe and the dimensions of the circle are the biggest circle is having die of 180 and the smaller circle is having die of 100 mm so we'll go to the creo parametric go for the sketch and select here this end face sketch and sketch view now we'll go to the circle and we'll create two concentric circles like this the bigger circle is having die of 180 enter here 180 and the smaller circle is having die of 100 now after creating two concentric circles we'll exit the sketch now we'll go for the extrude now from here we can see that the extrusion is of 20 mm the thickness is of 20 mm so we'll enter here 20 mm also we have to reverse the direction of the extrusion so we'll select here reverse the direction and ok after creating this flange we have to create the holes in the flange and for that also we'll select here the sketch select here this end face sketch and sketch view from here we can see that we have to create the circles with a diameter of 16 mm and at a distance of 70 mm so we'll go to the creo parametric go for the circle and create one circle over here like this the diameter of the circle is of 16 mm so we'll enter here 16 and the distance is of 70 so enter here 70 after applying the diameter and the distance we'll exit the sketch now we'll go for the extrude now first we'll reverse the direction and select here remove material for the depth we'll enter here 20 mm that is the thickness of the flange and create ok now we have to create six such holes that you can see over here and for that we'll use the pattern so we'll go to the creo parametric and select here this extrude now we'll go for the pattern in the pattern we have to select here axis because our pattern is circular pattern now here we have to select the axis so we'll select here this axis in our case we have to create six such holes so we'll enter here six and we'll select here this angle button so it will create all the six hole at equal distance or equal angular distance and click on ok now we have to create the same flange on another side also and for that we'll select here this extrude press ctrl and select here this pattern for both of these we'll select here the mirror for the mirror plane we'll select here this plane and you can see the preview of the mirror now we'll click on ok now after creating this straight portion of this part we have to create here this perpendicular part 
and to create this part we have to first create one plane at a distance of 150 mm so we'll go to the creo parametric we'll select here the plane for the reference we'll select here this plane the distance is of 150 so we'll enter here 150 and click on ok now after creating this plane we have to first create one circle with a diameter of 100 mm that is outer diameter of the pipe so we'll go to the creo parametric select here sketch now we'll select here the plane that we have created sketch and sketch view now we'll select here circle and create one circle over here like this the diameter of circle is of 100 mm so we'll enter here 100 after creating this circle we'll exit the sketch we'll go for the extrude now first we have to reverse the direction so we'll select here reverse the direction from this drop down we'll select here up to the next so it will create the extrusion up to the surface and then we'll click on ok now after creating this we have to make it hollow and for that we'll select here the sketch select here this end face sketch and sketch view now here we have to create one circle that is equal to the inner diameter of this pipe so the inner diameter is of 8 mm so we'll go to the creo parametric go for the circle and create one circle over here like this the diameter of the circle is of 8 mm so we'll enter here 80 after creating this circle we'll exit the sketch now we'll go for the extrude now first we'll reverse the direction now from here we have to select here this one and that is extrude to intersect with the selected surface now we have to select here this surface now here you can see that it has created a hollow portion up to this face so the liquid that is coming from this side can enter into this pipe as well as this pipe so it is a continuous passer now and now we'll click on ok now after creating the perpendicular section we have to create flange over here also and for that we'll go for the sketch select here this face sketch and sketch view here also we'll create two concentric circles with a diameter of 100 mm and 180 mm so the bigger one is of 180 and the smaller one is of 100 after creating two concentric circles we'll exit the sketch now we'll go for the extrude now first we'll reverse the direction and the depth is of 20 mm that is the thickness of the flange and now we'll click on ok after creating this we have to create the holes and for that we'll go for the sketch select here this face sketch and sketch view now here first we'll create one circle so we'll create one circle over here like this the diameter of the circle is of 16 mm so we'll enter here 16 the distance of the circle that is of 70 mm now after creating this sketch we'll exit the sketch now we'll go for the extrude now first we'll reverse the direction and the thickness is of 20 mm that is equal to the thickness of the flange and now we'll click on ok now we have to create pattern of this hole and for that we'll select here pattern from here we'll select here the axis for the pattern because we want to create circular pattern for the axis we'll select here this axis of the pipe now here we have to create six such holes so we'll enter here six and we'll select here this angle button and ok now after creating the pipes and the flanges we'll select here round the radius of the round is of 10 mm and we have to select both these edges over here and here now we'll click on ok now after creating this 3d model we'll go for the appearance and for that we'll select here view appearance in the standard metal we'll select here this polished brass metal and we'll select here enter part and ok i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please hit on the like button share it and subscribe to this channel kdkmc tutorials thanks